Yeah, once again, welcome to Basic Music Knowledge. My name is Kingsley Bowusu Mensa. When I make sure I'll send there, so for joining you. And it is something to say, idea about music is to help us not avoid it through with the piano skills and into and there it was so we are um, having this lesson especially on key G major key G major key G major okay now, say our well, great stave or the grand stava, what it means is that with this um, great stave <clears throat> and then the grand staff, as you can look on your screen, from middle C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. Then Downwards, we have B, A, G, F, E, D, C, B, A, G, F, E, D, C. Okay, so now with G major, said anything, it means you have the home, the root, the tonic from G, then you can count upwards to G, can also count downwards, G to G, from G to G. Okay, so let's look at the piano keyboard. On the piano keyboard, we have these names, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, then A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Now, what is the major scale of G major? These are the features of G major. On the treble staff, you have one sharp placed on the fifth line, which is called F. The fifth line, which is called F. So the tonic, the home key starts from the second line, which is called G. That is why this symbol is called G major, um, G clef. It is also called treble clef, so G clef, treble clef. Okay, so from the second line we have G, then the space A, line B, space C, line D, space E, line F, and then space G. Okay, so as um, it's um, similar with um, all major um, scales, we have what we call tone, tone, semitone, tone, 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 semitone. Again, tone, tone, semitone, tone, 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 semitone. Okay, so now let's look at the keyboard from G. Here is G. So we have Tone, tone, semitone, tone, tone, say a petona, it means we have to move to F sharp, then we come back to G. So let's look at this. From G, we go tone, tone, semitone, tone, 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 semitone. That is why we sharpen F. That is why we sharpen F with G major skill. Now let's look at this example. More love to D. What is the key signature? More love to D, written by William Duani. We have the key signature, of course, G major. What is the time signature? Four, four time, okay. Now let's look at the features. We have, um, this is a minim, which is two beats. We have crotchet, one beat, crotchet, one beat. Dotted crotchet, one and a half beat. This is quiver, which is half beat. 
Minim, two beats, minim. Okay, crochet, crochet. Okay, so we have um, minim um, dominating, and then crochet, and then we have dotted crochet, we have um, quavers. All right, now let's also look at accidentals in this song. They share accidentals, and so we might say there is one here placed on C. It means we need to sharpen C. Increase C by semitone. Sharpen C. So instead of playing the white key C, you just increase it by playing C sharp, which is the black key, C sharp. Okay. Um, that is the only accidental that we have in this song. So we will not worry ourselves that much. So remember, all notes placed on F should be sharpened or must be sharpened. All right, so let's um, look at how the 4-4 time um, really works. Um, the 4-4 time means we have four crochets in a bar. So two plus one plus one will give us four. One and a half plus half will give us two plus two will give us four. So you can add all the other um, nodes in each bar and that would amount to four crochets in a bar. Now we are going to watch how to play more love to the on the piano. Okay, that was Hilary. Now let's also listen to another one. Another one. Let's also listen to another one. This is from Stephanie. <laughs> Okay, so let's look at another exercise. Jesus invites his saints. Jesus invites his saints. The lyrics were written by Isaac Watts in 1707. Okay, now what is the key signature? G major, of course. What is the time signature? 4-4. Four, four. But look at the first um note we have only one beat one quarter beat in the first bar it means this song starts with a weak beat or an acoustic beat or up beat so you first start with a preparatory notes one two three then you begin so one two three okay that is what we call weak beat an acoustic beat so um, we have crotchets. Let's look at um, the notes that are dominating. We have crotchet, 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 crotchet with one beat, one beat, one beat, one beat. Dotted minimum, three beats. One, two, three. Then um, crotchet. So we have many crotchets that are dominating in this song. Then we have dotted um, minimum, dotted minimum. Okay, let's look at the accidentals in this song. Um, we have one here, natural. Remember, instead of playing F sharp, you just play the normal F here. 
Now, look at this one. Good boy deserves favor always. So we have A, shopping A. So A sharp, you play A sharp. What about this one? You play C sharp. So A sharp, C sharp. Okay, A sharp, C sharp. Then instead of playing, um, we have B, this is A. So you play the natural white key, that is A, the natural white key, that is A. Okay, we also have here a natural F, natural F. So instead of playing F sharp, you just play the natural F. This happens only here. Once we move on to the next bar, then the normal rule applies. Is that okay? Yeah. So let's watch how to play Jesus invite his sins on the piano. simple song that you can try your hands on. Now let's move on to our third exercise. Oh, sing a new song to the Lord. Oh, sing a new song to the Lord. Now we have the key signature, G major, time signature 4-4, four, four. It means four quarters in the bar, but as you notice, it starts with an acoustic beat or weak beat or upbeat. So once you add the first and then the last bar on the line, you have, they will sum up to what we call four quartets in a bar. Look at this um, bar also has one um, quartet, but one plus three will give us four making it um, the time signature to four quartets in a bar. So we have one, is quartet. So one, two, three, then you begin. Okay, so it starts with an upbeat. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So one, two, three, then you begin. All right, so um, quartets, let's look at the notes that are dominating. We have Crotchets, 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 and then we have quivers, and then dotted um, minim. What about the accidentals? We can see one here. So C sharp, you have to play C sharp, which is the black key. Okay. Um, yeah, that is the only accidental. Aside from this, it means you play <clears throat> white keys, but notes that are placed on F must be sharpened, sharpened, or be increased by semitone. All right, so um, once we know the features, it's very simple to play. So let's watch how Oh Sing a New Song is being played on the keyboard. Very good. Let's watch another one from Stephanie. Um, move on to our next exercise. All praise to thee, my God. All praise to thee. It was written by Thomas Tallis. 
Now, what is the key signature? G major. What is the time signature? 4-4. Four, four. Okay. So what are the nodes that are dominating almost crochets? Crochets, which is one beat, one beat, one beat. So um, what about accidentals? We don't have any accidental. We don't have any accidental. So it means the rule that is you sharpen all nodes that are being placed on F and you'll be fine. So we have, um, yeah, yeah, okay. We have all the nodes put in place. All right, okay. So let's watch how this song um, goes. watch once again. Yeah, so you can try your hands on it. Now let's look at the next exercise. The king of love, my shepherd is. The king of love, my shepherd is, written by John Dykes. Okay, so we have G major for full time. What are the notes that are dominating? We have crochet, 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 which is one beat, um, dotted crochet. We have quiver. Um, yeah, minim, okay. Quiver, quiver. Okay, so now let's look at um, the accidentals. Accidentals, what are some of the accidentals that we have? Okay, so this is you sharpen C. This is C sharp, aside F sharp. Okay, so you play, this is D sharp, D sharp. Okay, so these are the only accidentals that we have. That is C sharp and then D sharp. Okay, so it happens only here. This also happens only here in the bar. Okay, so um, it's very simple. And this sign, I'll talk about it in our um, subsequent lessons. So don't worry, but it's called um, long pause. Okay, long pause or fermata, fermata. Okay, so I will explain it in our next um, lesson. All right, so let's watch how this song the king of my love, um, the king of love, my shepherd is. Okay, let's watch it once again. That is all that we have for today. Basic music knowledge. This is via Zoom with Pastor Kingsley Ousu Mensa. Please note that if you want to get perfect, please rehearse, rehearse, rehearse. Practice, practice, practice in order to be perfect. God bless you. 
You can also watch Unyame Fatenshira. God is worthy of blessing in all um, music streaming services around the world. You can also watch on YouTube. You just type Unyame Fatenshira by Pastor Kingsley Obusumensa. And you'll also enjoy um, sacred songs, um, songs that will soothe your soul. God bless you. Thank mm -hmm. you.